A parameter query prompts the user for the criteria without having them coming back into the query in the design view. In this case, I have my customer orders open in design view and coming down here into the criteria cell and entering in the criteria for any one of the fields that they added from the tables up above. So for example, I want to be able to have a little pop-up window that asks or prompts the user for the criteria for the customer name field. So I come into the customer names field criteria cell and I go ahead and I type in my parameter, which is really easy coding. But I'm going to need more space than this little cell can show us here, so I'm going to go ahead and right click on the cell and zoom in on it. Or again, if you recall, if your cursor is flashing within the cell, just hit the Shift key and F2 and it zooms in on it as well. To do this, just hit the open square bracket and then type in a prompt for the user so they know what they're doing. And in this case, I want them to enter a customer name. Then when I'm finished, close the square brackets. Now, as far as coding goes, Access doesn't care about the text in between these two brackets. The brackets actually just prompt to give you a pop-up window, and the text in between it will tell the user that they need to enter in a customer name because it's based upon the customer field here. So when I'm finished, just click OK and that's it. Click on the Run button, I get my little pop-up here. Enter in a customer name. And then hit Enter, and there we go. Now if I want to do this again, all I have to do is hold down the Shift key and hit the F9 key on the keyboard, and it runs it again. So I can just type in Fall hit enter and there we go. So I could stay in here and just keep hitting the shift F9 keys and run the parameter query over and over again instead of coming in here in the design view and changing it every time down below here. But as you probably would have guessed, trying to spell the name exactly if you're not familiar with all the, the customer names could be a bit tricky. So what I want to do is I want to tweak my parameter query to allow the person just type in the first letter of the customer's name. That should be a little bit more helpful. So to do that, I want to tweak the parameter here by right-clicking on the cell, going down to Zoom so I can bring it up again so we can see everything here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the Home key on the keyboard so my cursor is flashing at the beginning of my parameter here, and I'm going to type in the word Like. And then I'm going to change the text within here so the user knows that they don't have to enter in the customer name. They can just go ahead and enter the first letter of a customer's I'm not finished with my coding yet. I have to add my ampersand, which is the Shift 7 key on the keyboard, and then go ahead and add the asterisk, Shift 8, and breaking it down, it says like, and when they type in the letter, like the letter B or the letter G, this ampersand actually ties it to the wildcard. Now, if you recall in the earlier training videos in Excel or Access Level 1, that wildcard, when you put it next to a letter, means that anything that comes after that letter doesn't matter. It could be anything. So if I type in the letter B, it wants to make sure that at least the first letter in the customer's name in this case is letter B, but anything after it doesn't care. So click OK. Go ahead and click on the Run button, and let's type in the letter G and hit Enter. And there we go, Ghost Hunter. So I didn't have to type it and spell it all out. That would have taken too long. But of course, if I have several customers that have the first letter in their name beginning with the letter G, well, OK, that could be a bit annoying. But in any case, it's a shortcut here to help you out. I'm going to go back to the design view, and you can add more parameters or get more pop-up windows for criteria here. I have one here based upon the customer name. Next, I want to be able to, in addition to the name, I want to be able to find the customers with the transaction date between, let's say, certain dates. I want to be able to give them that little pop-up or those, those parameters to type in. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on the criteria cell for the sales date here. Zoom. And it's going to be the between and parameter. This is what I'm talking about. I'm going to go ahead and type in the between word, open square brackets, and then type in what I want the user to do. Enter a start date, and then close the square bracket, and then type in the word and, open square bracket, enter a and end date. Close square bracket. So breaking this down, when it comes to the criteria, we want it between the start date and then they have to enter in the end date and it should pull up all the companies that are like when you type in the first letter, letter B or G for ghost and it will between those transaction dates if they have any between whatever we enter in as a start date and end date should pull. So let's go ahead and click OK. Go ahead and hit on the run button. OK, the first letter of the customer's name we're going to do G. Hit enter. Now the start date. Well, if I know my database here, I'm going to type in 8 slash 1 slash 08 enter and then the end date is going to be 10 slash 31 slash 08 enter. Hey, there we go. Fantastic. 
you'll notice that when I was entering in the date, I didn't have to type in 08. If it was a single digit, I just typed in 8 slash 1 slash 08. Of course, the 08 on the year is important here. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.